In this video, we talk about what are little girls made of, uh, one of our retro reviews of the original series. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd, and what are little girls made of almost sounds like that it's following up on Mud's Women and on uh, the um, uh, other uh, more sexist outings that uh, we have had on the original series. However, this particular episode holds up pretty well in the present day, and it centers around Nurse Chapel. Uh, apparently, her husband, who uh, was, uh, they are separated um, through no animosity between them, but but rather uh, he's lost, and uh, they have uh, found him on a, uh, a planet uh, where he is developing androids. And uh, we know a little bit about uh, Chapel's backstory here, and uh, also uh, the first time we see a real android on the series. And uh, these particular androids, you put uh, some plaster of Paris on a turntable, uh, put a, a real person on the other side, spin it around, and you have yourself a complete duplicate, uh, complete with um, uh, memories and uh, mannerisms. Uh, Kirk, of course, is able to uh, hijack this and get a secret message to Spock. We see um, Ted Cassidy. Uh, this uh, uh, He was well known as Lurch on the Adams Family. He plays an old android, which was built by the old ones. And um, uh, there is a story about how uh, the, uh, the androids had gotten together and destroyed the old ones, uh, their makers, and uh, that uh, Corby's experiment is rather um, dangerous uh, in, in what he's trying to do, hopefully to continue his work and take over the Enterprise while doing it, uh, replacing Kirk with an artificial. Uh, of course, it doesn't work. And um, uh, beyond that story, uh, we have uh, some of Kirk's methods that are used for the first time, like uh, romancing the female. Now, this particular female was an android, but even she was not immune from Kirk's natural charm, uh, uh, romantic intentions, and open mouth kiss, which is something that uh, was in every note from the network for every episode uh, from that time on, please no open mouth kiss. That's uh, against the standards and practices of NBC. And William Shatner pretty much ignored it uh, uh, throughout the series by his own admission. Of course, uh, upon uh, romancing this android, she completely changes her programming. So uh, that is pretty much the plot of it, but there are some interesting little side notes too that I found kind of interesting. Uh, first of all, uh, they referred to phasers as phaser guns. Uh, this is uh, before they have uh, made any mention of the Federation. Uh, in a previous episode, they were still talking about USPA, United Earth Space Probe Agency, which was their uh, authority before uh, they came up with the idea of the Federation, which I believe was a Gene Kuhn idea that, uh, uh, along with Klingons and things like that, which would come later. Uh, we know that uh, for the first time uh, they have mentioned uh, Kirk had a brother, uh, which um, uh, is... Um, they were able to identify his brother as Sam, and he said, only I call him Sam. Uh, he is George Samuel Kirk, and uh, Jim knew him as Sam, but everybody else called him George. That's uh, kind of an interesting little aside there, and the first time that was mentioned in the seventh episode of the, um, of the first season. Also in this episode, uh, the first red shirt dies. Uh, up to now, uh, there have been members of the crew who have died, and some of them have been injured, but uh, that have not been red shirts. They've usually been blue or uh, green shirts. And uh, this particular time, they have uh, the, uh, the first red shirt, actually two of them. Uh, they were the security detail, and uh, some people said the red shirts died because mostly the security people wore red shirts, and they never really, they may have had a name, but uh, who would remember them, and uh, they would lose it after one episode. So uh, what we have here is uh, the first time of many that that happened. So otherwise, uh, it did hold up as a pretty good episode. Uh, it's worthy of rewatch, and uh, it shows, uh, um, you know, Kirk 
or, or Shatner playing Kirk and playing duplicate Kirk uh, in a, a fairly convincing way that you would think that one was different from the other. Obviously, Spock could tell that difference too, even though uh, in the um, previous episode where uh, he was uh, split in the transporter accident and had a uh, considerably different personality one from the other, uh, Spock wasn't as quick to recognize it as it was this time. So uh, that's the uh, power of the uh, script, I suppose. At any rate, uh, that is uh, what our little girls made of based on the mother goose rhyme, sugar and spice and everything nice, and little boys made of snakes and snails and puppy dog tails. Uh, not anything that speaks specifically of uh, girls and boys, but rather uh, how you make an android, what are the ingredients, and they never really revealed that. Uh, the data type android uh, would come uh, many years later and uh, obviously did not have any connection to this because uh, all of the research here was destroyed. Uh, just what they do in the Federation, if they see something they don't like, they just uh, destroy it and move on. So uh, that's the episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me uh, notes in the comments below and uh, we will discuss this further if you're interested. Meanwhile, we have uh, other things to talk about this week, and so uh, stay tuned for uh, videos on, um, on the um, Strange New Worlds and uh, also on the Orville, which uh, premieres, premiered this week. So uh, we'll be talking about those things in subsequent videos. So uh, uh, if you subscribe and click the bell, you'll know when the next video is coming your way. We have a lot of information to share with you this summer because there's a lot of shows in production and uh, we'll try to follow as much of it as we can. So until then, don't go far.